what is going on people welcome back to crypto talk with chris i appreciate you guys um coming in and checking me out please like and subscribe um that would mean a lot to your boy still a small channel i appreciate the uh 99 or 100 subscribers that i have thank you all so much i appreciate that you know we all here as a family trying to make a lot of money and if i can do anything i can do to help with that by giving you guys information on what i'm doing or what we all doing um i'm glad to do that so i appreciate you guys um first and foremost guys um hope you had a great thanksgiving i know i did it was very very i'm very full from that <laughs> um thank you guys for like i said just just coming in and, and chatting up chatting it up with me because all i'm doing is just be running my mouth a lot um so guys I wanted to talk to you about crypto.com CRO um, man uh, I remember when crypto.com came out in 2018 I believe as y'all know I usually say this in all my videos I literally <laughs> I literally rolled my eyes because I you know still still learning I know I've been in crypto for you know since 2015 but I didn't you know, I didn't care too much for it. Uh, I didn't see the potential um, until now. <laughs> and it's a big potential. Um, guys, you know, I, I can't remember what price it was when I first seen it. But like I said, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not even going to, you know, I'm not mad that I wish I would have got in because it's a lot of coins that you wish or should have, could have, would have type thing. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could have got into Bitcoin. Uh, guys, I seen Bitcoin at $1,100 and I didn't buy it. So <laughs> in, in 2015. So, I mean, hey. You know it is what it is um i i just i i, I want to talk to you guys about crypto.com i want to give you a little taste of what i'm feeling about crypto.com and what my mindset is uh this is not financial advice guys anything that you do you do on your own um but yeah so if you guys haven't found out or haven't been looking at the news or just even watching YouTube videos or anything about crypto.com, obviously you guys know that um, they are um, they are replacing the Staples Center sign on top of the arena where the Lakers and the Sacramento Kings play in California. So of course that is extremely, extremely huge. Um, it will be put on top of the building in beautiful blue letters um, in lighting on the 25th of December on Christmas, which is a huge catalyst guys. Um, I I think that a lot of people are missing uh, the potential, the catalyst of how big this is. I think this is probably one of the biggest things that crypto in cryptocurrency history, in my opinion. I really feel like it's the biggest thing ever due to the fact that it's still on 2% of us in the crypto space in the entire world. 2%, guys. 2%. That, that that lets me know that crypto.com sees this as a chance to uh, reach the masses you know what I'm saying reach new investors reach people that uh, that don't know anything about crypto and don't care about crypto and may persuade them by showing them that hey you know we're on you know we're we're going to be platformed on one of the biggest stages, you know, on a, on a basketball arena. That's, that's incredible. I mean, I, I really feel like if you guys don't see this, this is where I see the, the potential and the catalyst, not just because the sign is going on top of the arena, but if you guys know about DraftKings, I was big in DraftKings a while back. Uh, I still play here and there. But I remember when I first started getting in DraftKings and I played, uh, you, it's basically sports betting um, that you can get on your app and you can, you know, bet on games, bet on basketball, all, almost all sports. And when I started seeing their, um, like going, when, they, when, when games started to come out, like let's say the Rockets and the Bulls came, or you would see at the beginning of the game, like right at the very bottom, if you had really good seats, you can see DraftKings on the back of the seats um, for marketing. Like people were like, you know, what is DraftKings? And it says DraftKings.com, and I'm sure thousands of people would get on their phone and type in DraftKings.com and would pull up and ask to join. And look, DraftKings is huge now. 
So, I if you guys understand, I'm trying to compare. I was using that comparison as marketing and how DraftKings got their their marketing out. In the, in the sports game and it's everywhere now you can't see DraftKings now you can go to any you know basketball arena football maybe even baseball and whatnot and see a little bit of a marketing uh, a billboard or or you know some type of marketing or you know of, of DraftKings but what I'm saying is crypto.com is literally going to be on an arena for one of the most popular teams in the game and that's the Lakers um, and of course it was the Sacramento Kings. So my mindset is seeing like, okay, they're gonna have crypto.com on the top of this arena. 20 years is gonna be there. They pay $700 million to have that on the arena. Staples Center's gone. It's crypto.com arena apparently. So I can see these guys when, when, you, when you have fans coming into that arena, every what how, what when their games are played basketball games are played all the time so you got the d league you got the regular nba you got women's nba or, or women's basketball you got just people coming in there as far as like i want to say marketing food wise i mean you go in there and buy you a hot dog some nachos and you're going to have some type of cup um guys i stay in houston texas so if you think about it when i go to Houston Stadium, I'm going to have a Houston Cup or I'm going to have a Texan Cup. I feel like when 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 people in California go to these games, they're going to see they're going to have I feel like there's going to be crypto.com cups, crypto.com um popcorn boxes, crypto.com nacho boxes, um uh, crypto.com packages, candies, you know, uh, uh a, a, a little 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 store in there with 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 items in 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 um you know just a whole bunch of accessories of crypto.com i really really 150 percent feel that that's what that's going to do like i said i feel like the i feel like the um the crypto.com on the arena on top of the arena is icing on the cake but i feel like the real catalyst is you're being able to buy and purchase things with crypto.com at these basketball games. They already have credit cards out. If you guys have not downloaded crypto.com, they have credit cards that you can use there. They're there with Visa, but uh, you know, um, I, I think this is <laughs> this is insanely big. Um, I literally, guys, if you uh, if you guys know me, I I've been having Zillica for a long time. I had Zillica for a, a, a lot a long time. I just sold all my Zillica and went all the way into crypto.com. I literally put everything from my Zillica in crypto.com. Love Zillica. I think they still got a lot to go, a lot, a lot, a long way to go. I think they are a great cryptocurrency with their scaling capabilities and everything. But I think right now, crypto.com was a, 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 a great position that I needed to jump in. And I'm so grateful and so happy that I was able to be blessed to have you know to have made the money that i've made on zillica and to move you know move it to uh crypto.com um that's how serious this is to me once again this is not financial advice this is what i'm doing i think this is the biggest catalyst in crypto history once again my that is how i feel i uh, i think if you're sleeping on it please go do your due diligence it's a lot of new people that's not in crypto guys two percent is in crypto right now this is bringing people that don't know anything about cryptocurrency, period. I mean, you may, man, I, I think I can ask my mom right now, do you know anything about cryptocurrency? She, she might say, she might say, what's this Bitcoin thing that you always talk about? That's it, guys. That's it. That's all she knows. She don't know Ethereum. She don't know, you know, Cardano. She don't know Zillica. None of that. You know what I'm saying? You, Bitcoin has the right to be, you know, known. It has the right to be known by people that don't know crypto because it's everywhere. Crypto.com is going to be everywhere, guys. It's on a freaking arena. <laughs> I need y'all to understand that. It's, this is the biggest catalyst, the biggest uh, the biggest move, the biggest uh, barrier that's going to be broken from new investors to even veteran and old investors that have been trying to, you know, 
talk to their family members about investing into uh, something that's safe. And, you know, it's a lot of scams going on, guys. Right now, Crypto.com, in my opinion, is one of the probably the newest blue chip coins you can get. And, you know, you got the Bitcoin blue chip, Ethereum blue chip, XRP, if you want to call it a blue chip right now. Um, you know, Cardano, uh, you know, all those guys are blue chips. Uh, Crypto.com is definitely a blue chip. It's going to be one of the safest blue chips for decades. 20 years, Crypto.com is going to be on top of that state, on that arena, guys. Um, I, I, I can't say enough about how incredible this move was. You know, it's going to really bring a lot of people to the crypto space, guys. And I'm telling you, um, this, this thing goes up on the, on the arena on the 25th of December. You're going to start seeing this price move. I promise you. Guys, it's okay. First of all, I want to tell you guys, it's okay that the market is down. You know, it's a pullback. Everything's down. You guys heard about the news in uh, Africa about this new virus or whatever. There's nothing to worry about, guys. It's a dip. Some people are taking profits. Some people are going to be scared. At the end of the day, you got to be more, you got to be, you got to be um, self-taught. You got to be self-aware and you have to have some self-confidence in yourself not to pull your profits, guys. You work hard for those profits. Don't pull your profits because what you see in the market is red. Black Friday is what we've been calling it. Today is Black Friday. But you do what you want to do. I know I'm buying. Like I said, I just bought me some CRO on the dip. Guys, I just bought it on the dip. I will. I don't need to buy no more, but I would like to. But there's no reason to. I'm in a good position. But this, this video was based off how I feel, what I see, and what I, I, I feel like I'm 90% right 95 i want to say 99 but i'm not i'm just gonna say 95 percent right about what's gonna happen with cro and how big this is i don't want to call it the next bitcoin but i'm gonna say it's the people's coin it's the it's the it's the new investors coin it's 70 cents guys 71 cents wherever it's at it's under a dollar that's all i'm gonna say it's the new this is the new coin that you can invest in and you're gonna see you're going to see profits like no other, in my opinion. I'm investing in it, so I know I'm going to see profits like no other. <laughs> Do your research, guys. Um, I just had some intel that I haven't been on their website, but I just found out they have a racing. They're, they're, uh, they're, they're, they've got racing, the hockey, and soccer. Um, that's big. I didn't know that. I, I wasn't paying attention to that. I'm going to do some more research. But... I, I'm really happy that I uh, joined this joined this crew. The Crow is what people call it. Crypto.com, C-R-O. Guys, check it out. Not financial advice, but check it out. Um, I think this is, uh, I think y'all gonna see exactly what I'm talking about this month in December. Uh, coming up next month in December, y'all gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. I want y'all to come back in this channel and tell me if I was right or wrong about what's about to happen in crypto.com. I promise you, I know, I promise myself that I know <laughs> what I'm talking about and I see what is about to happen, guys. So um, we'll make an, I'll make another update about this later, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm tired. I just got off work, guys. We'll talk later, later.